Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So today we're going to be using the gorgeous note to self kit to make a little self care bookmark slash page marker to put in our planners. So if you want to see how I made it, then just keep watching. Alright, so we're going to start off with a bit of that really thick cardboard that we used the other week to make the notebook folio don't need to do this I think you can skip this if you don't have any cardboard because the two bits of paper so I'm going to stick two bits of paper together to make the actual bookmark but it, it's fine like there's nothing wrong with that sort of thickness but I just want this one to be a little bit thicker so I'm just look, ink on my hands I've always got ink on my hands so I'm just going to cut this to seven and a half so I'm just using my uh, trimmer to do that just going through that a couple of times. There we go. And I'm just going to grab just a page of my planner because I want to be able to kind of guide this the whole way. So that seven and a half is half my page. So that gives me a really good kind of base to use this on. Is that straight? Don't you love when you look at something and you go, I don't know if that's straight or not. I don't think it is. I'm just going to trim this just to get a straight line because I think that's better. Sometimes you just look at it and you go, yeah, that's not straight. That's better. So there's our the start of the bookmark. From there, we're going to add on two bits of paper. So I'm grabbing two of the bits of the paper from the kit. So I'm actually going to use none of the sides with the artwork. That's very different for me, but I'm going to give it a go. So I'm going to cut these two to seven and a half as well. We're going to use the black on the front and we're going to use the pink on the back. Okay. So from there we just need to trim these down. I'm going to start with, go back to this one. This one's going to be 21 and a half. And that's, hold on, not 21 and a half, just 21 because that's the size of the page. Yep, yeah, 21. So cutting this to 21 centimetres. And then we can start having a look at adding a die cut. Now I'm absolutely in love with the sloths from this kit. I think they're gorgeous. But I don't want to go over the top with them. So I'm just going to use one and I'm just going to use this little cutie here. But what I want to do is I want to trim or put a little... Um, make it so that the claws of the sloth actually sit over the top of my little bookmark, if that makes sense. So... Just with my craft knife, I'm just going to do a little semicircle around the claws. Now the hard thing with this is that because these die cuts have been redone and they're so much thicker, that's actually not as easy as it used to be. So I'm just going in front and back, there we go. Doing it on both sides. It doesn't matter if it's not 100% perfect because it's just to add a bit of fun. Gonna poke them out and they'll sit. There's only a tinsy bit that we've actually cut, so I'm not actually even sure it will work. We're gonna add some extra strength on the back so that this will stay together. No, that's not cut through, that's why it's not working. So it obviously won't stay on just like that because that's not got enough kind of oomph to hold it. But it will sit on. It's not that it's not working, it's just not work it's just not working the way I wanted it to. And I don't know exactly why. I'm just gonna make this a little bit higher. So just come up a bit further on the I had a finger up feeling I was gonna do that. So I've actually, because I've been playing with it, I have actually torn that apart. I think it'll still be okay. If not, I have another idea. Not going to work the way I want it to. So what I'm going to do is I want I want this to be not so much white on the top there. So I'm just going to trim off the white underneath so that the fingers actually look like they're coming out over the top, and we'll just stick it on instead. Not all my ideas work, guys. Sometimes I fail. But now that'll sit like that, and then when we put the the back on, 
it'll go all the way to the top anyway, so it'll be fine. I have deliberately made this so that the sloth's a little bit wider than the page because I want him to be a, a real feature. So then I'm going to grab the black and stick that down to my cardboard. So I'm just going to use glue tape for that. I'm going to show you a little trick that I've been doing recently to line things up. So I grabbed my little scoreboard out because it's got this really cool edge thing. So that's right up in the corner and then I can put this right up in the corner, push it up against each other and that will connect it straight. This scoreboard has been really good. <laughs> I've really enjoyed this scoreboard. Alright, so the little sloth will sit there like that. And what I'm going to do is just for now, where'd my glue go? I'm just going to, with some liquid glue, just put two little dots on his paws. I'm just going to stick that down. And there's just a little bit of overhang here, so I'm just going to fix that. because it's it's a little bit there's not enough to stick it down so I'm still going to do the exact I'm still going to have him hanging I'm just going to put a little bit more glue and just have him a little bit more on the on the bookmark as opposed to all hanging off and just before I keep going this is still a bit wet I've just got a little bit of glue that's just seeping out underneath. All I ever do with liquid glue is just run your finger along the along the line there and you can just wipe the glue away and it doesn't clump when it dries. And then on the back there's just a bit more excess glue so yeah same thing just rub your finger along it. All right so I'm just going to trim off the excess on the bottom start working on the back. So what I was originally thinking was that it would just look like that but now I'm thinking that this looks a bit silly so do I want to cover that up? It's very easy to do. I know what I do well. I can get a little bit out but I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to stick that down normally and then I'm just going to cut a little bit of this paper to put on the back of the, of the swirl. So I'm just cutting out enough to cover it up and I'll stick it down and then just trim around the outside. I find that much, much easier. So we'll do the base first because that's got the easiest one to line up. I haven't done anything wrong there. I just left the excess at the top, not at the bottom, which isn't quite going to work. Which means my fun way of doing it's not going to work. I really should have done the sloth afterwards. But anyway, I've done it now. I'm just going to have to line this one up the old fashioned way. It is, it is reasonably simple because I can see the white. So it's not too bad. And then I'll just cut off anywhere where I can see it popping out. And just being careful at the top not to cut off his little branch thing. Now also in retrospect, so things I learned along the way. I should have made this a little bit wider so that the little um, branch was actually fully on the on the page. That was just I was working on being half of my planner week and sort of forgot about the fact that that was going to sit at the top. Little thing, it's not going to bother me enough to worry about. But yeah, probably if you're going to do it yourself, make this make your thing be eight centimeters wide, not seven and a half. That extra half centimetre makes all the difference. So I'm going to stick him, stick this piece of paper on.
little bits that I've kind of not quite got to. I could stick little bits of paper on them. I think what I'm just going to do is just grab a copy. I'm just going to see. Maybe a little bit too dark. So this is R83. And I'm just going to colour it in anywhere where it's sort of a bit of white peeking through. And I'm actually going to go around. No, I'm going to do that in black afterwards, I think. Now again, it's not perfect. I can tell there's something wrong with it, but we're copying it. Should have done that all at the start. Something else I probably could have done, and the only reason I didn't was because I didn't have enough of the board, um, is I could have done the whole board up with the sloth, and that way the whole thing would have been stronger. But, again. I'm actually just going to grab a grey combo. I'm just going to check the colour. A bit of scrap. This is uh, N35, and I'm just going to go around the outside just to try and get rid of some of the white. Now, the reason I'm using a Tombow and not a Copic here uh, is because a Tombow is water-based and a Copic is alcohol-based, and the water-based is easier to fix when you make a boo-boo, like I just did. And the alcohol tends to seep, whereas this, as a water-based, won't colouring around trying to get rid of as much of the white as I can trying also not to get any on the front or the back it doesn't have to be perfect just trying to get rid of some of the white bit and if you are careful enough you won't get any on the you won't get any on the paper on the front I'm just going around the sloth as well just so he's got a bit of definition and that'll also help hide some of the imperfections on the back all right it's a small thing you don't have to do that one I just think it adds something to it and makes it look a little cool a little bit better okay so on the front on the front I'm gonna grab this die cut and I like the way that that sits off so this is the bonus of not doing um, of having it be a bit skinnier is the fact that it I like the fact it sits off it just gives it a bit more something it obviously would look really good the other way it would look fine if you did it sitting on the, like fully on a page, but I really like the fact that it's slightly off. And then I'm gonna stick two of these flowers, and I'm gonna put them up on some foam, actually these ones are gonna be flat. And then I'm gonna put this little sloth, who's got his hand up in the air, I'm gonna put him there on some foam tape. And then in here, I wanna stamp out the self-care isn't selfish sentiment. But I'm a little nervous because I want to foil it, but I don't know how. I don't know how the foil will go on this. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try something when I put it through the foiler just to hopefully fix the problem or to eliminate any kind of transfer because I've never chucked this die cut through my foiler before, like with foil before. So I'm a bit nervous. So I'm just going to grab my um, mink ink. I'm just going to put a little bit out on my little mat here. And we'll get the brayer. Don't need very much because we're not doing very much. Just spread that out. And then leave it there to get sticky. I need it to get sticky. In the meantime, I'm going to put this down on the block. Now I want, I want it to read self-care isn't selfish obviously, but I want it to do self-care on the top, isn't in the middle, or is not, sorry, oh not is in, and then selfish at the bottom. So I'm just going to make sure this is straight because it's not quite. Alright, so this is a bit of that leftover cardboard this up, do the whole thing, so I'm putting ink over the whole thing, I'm going to do this two ways, I'm going to do it once on this white cardboard, because we've let that dry a little, I'm hoping it'll give me slightly better, I'm just going to do it once more, I really wanted this to be foiled. And then I'm also just going to grab a little bit of that black 
cardboard or black paper. I'm just going to grab a titsy bit of it. You guys know I get paper cutters gilt. And I'm just going to do a run on that as well. Oh, I've got the foil out, we might as well. This still might not work, just a FYI, but might as well try it. So I'm just going to run both of these through the foiler. I'm going to run them through with some rose gold foil that I cut beforehand. I'm just going to cut it in half. So this is just rose gold mink foil. I'm just going to run it through. We'll see what we get. If I get what I want, then we'll use one of these. But if I don't, I'll think of something else. All right. So we'll see what we got. Oh, actually, they haven't turned out too badly. Close ones haven't. They have. All right. So sometimes the paper sticks. Like the, the paper isn't smooth, so it doesn't stick so well to the... Um, the foil actually gets stuck to the paper. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to try really hard, really hard, to cut this straight. I don't actually know if I can, but... So I'm just going to cut what I hope is a straight line straight down there. got that to a point that it's it's not perfectly straight but it's pretty close now it's it's not a perfect foil there's still a little bit missing but I think it adds enough that I'm happy so I'm gonna stick that on that and I'm gonna cut these into little blocks so again trying to be as straight as I can I'm just gonna come a little bit closer to the, the S and again to the H on the end here and then stack these up so that they look the way I wanted them to originally now if I have to make these a little thinner I can do that just try and stay straight which I'm really not good at I don't know why I tried to do this I kind of like the wonkiness of it if it's not it doesn't need to be a hundred percent straight here selfish needs a little bit less on the bottom I think I'm happy with that, I think. Tinsy a little bit off here. I'm being really picky. You don't need to be this picky. I'm just going to stick that down. Just going to use um, liquid glue just so I've got some time to move it. flat and then the two flowers on the side I'm thinking maybe they're gonna to be too big now because I really wanted something more than maybe we do a sloth big and instead of doing the flowers two on the side we'll do them popping out like that I'm gonna go off this side because then it's gonna make it look slightly wider and it'll make this not quite so obvious that I've stuffed it up. Before I do any of that, sorry, yes, I am, that's exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm just going to punch the holes in it now, just so I can see where they're going to sit in comparison to everything else. I know, I'm a bit loopy. are going to be and make sure we avoid them. So I'm still going to hit just a little on that one. There. It also makes it look a bit balanced now that we've got the holes in it because it looked very centered over this sort of centered, very off center. Little Mr. Sloth will be sitting down there. Oh he's so cute. And they may still put something up the top. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick these down. I'm just going to use glue tape for these ones.
Now the foam tape is going to make it not impossible, but very difficult to chuck this through the laminator. Because I've used so many layers through here, this is really, really strong. So I'm not going to laminate this one, but if you wanted to, just leave the foam tape off here because it's really the only thing that'll make it not suitable to go through the laminator. Again, going to be another bit of dimension because there's obviously the die cut's got some to it. I'm going to lift up the edge of this one. I can't stop, but I think that looks really cool. The front. Now, what we're going to do to the back to make this more than you know just a bookmark and everything gonna add in some tasks on the back of it that'll give you some ideas on what you can do um, to kind of give yourself some min some self-care if you've only got a certain amount of time so what I've done is I've printed these out just on some um, it's a little bit extra strength uh, printer paper but not much I've just printed these out so they look like those Dymo labels that was the look I was going for because I thought they'd look really cool with this and I'm just gonna cut them out and I've deliberately done them too big like the box is too big so that I've got some room to make these bigger or smaller if I have to. And I'm going to try really hard to cut these straight. We've already established I'm not good at this. I am working on a way to be able to be better at that. I'm not there yet. So I'm just going to cut out one of the 10 minute ideas, one of the 30 and then one of the one hour. instead this is why I printed two I knew there was a reason I know those edges there are straight so I'm going to cut these thinner on here where I've got a bit more control over it okay, that's better should have done that the first time we've learnt a lot if nothing else in this project so then I can trim these off to sort of, or I can, oh, actually I like the way they line up like that. So I'm gonna have them deliberately sitting wonky. I really like the way that wonky looks. Just have it, so I'm just trying to work the thirds out. So there's plenty of room. I think like that, like that. So stick these down. What I'm gonna do just to, cause I don't wanna try and get my scissors in behind all the die cuts. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that tape. Just stick that down where I want it. I'm going to grab my pencil out, put some pencil lines so that way I can just trim off the excess that way. ideas written down that I'm just going to write in by hand you could put this again if you're going to use a laminator and make this a laminated one you could put these like in little check boxes so you could tick them off if you've done them but my idea is that they're going to be things that all right I'm having a bad day like I'm having right now 
having a bad day, I have 10 minutes before something else I've got to do or 30 minutes before I've got to go and pick the kids up. I want to give myself a break and I can go here and go, okay, well, I've got a bunch of 10 minute ideas. What do I want to do? Okay, I want to, and again, I write them down. I'm going to make myself a nice warm drink and just sit down and enjoy it. So I'm going to have a cup of tea and sit down and I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to walk outside. I'm going to, if I've got half an hour, I'm going to do a little meditation because you can get 30 minute ones on podcasts and stuff like that really easily. Or maybe if I've got an hour before I've got to go pick someone up, I go and have a bath and just give myself that time. So I've given myself time limits to be able to go. I'm going to write them in by hand and I'm going to try and be really, really neat with it because I want this to last. So this is going to take a bit, so I'm going to speed through it, but I'll be back and we'll finish this up. ideas at the, the hour one I've got six ideas just of, of little things so I've got like make a warm drink like I said go outside sing loudly I don't know if that's the only I'm the only one but sometimes I like to put like on a really angry song and just sing it really loudly and really badly I tend to do that in the car because then Ryan doesn't have to hear it nor my neighbors um, but they're little ones so if that's what it takes get in your car go for a drive just go around the block but just turn the radio up really loudly and sing as loud as you like that one helps me a lot but then 30 minute idea, something a bit more. So watch a funny show. So I go and go at Friends, that's my calm down. I just, I just love it, it makes me laugh. Sit down in the grass and just watch the clouds go by. I love doing that, that's actually a lot of fun. Um, but then like listen to a podcast, do something creative, go and get a massage if you've got time and got some cash, things like that. So just to finish this off, I just wanna chuck a couple more stickers on here. So thankfully we've got some that are kind of related to some of the ones we did so I'm gonna put this little duck next door to the one that says have a bubble bath because to me that's just perfect but then there's also there's the lighter candle at the top so I'm gonna grab one of these candles and just put that up here so I'm just adding a little bit of decorative to the back as well because we've used plenty of decorative in the front to add some more so if I think of some more 10 minute ideas I can come back in here and add some more that's the bonus for me for not laminating this is that I can just add things to it later I'm still a little I'm still a little not happy with those on the side so I'm just gonna grab my copy this is the same color we used before and I'm just gonna color them in and the idea is here that well, my idea is that this watercolor isn't 100% perfect, so my colouring doesn't need to be either. So I'm just going down the side and then kind of trying to make it look streaky, the same way the paper is. And Copic will always look a little darker to begin with. And because these are extra thick die cuts, you know what, they're not bleeding through. Oh my God, that's so good. They're a little, but nothing massive. So just don't go too many layers of the Copic and you'll be fine. It actually looks okay. It blends in really nicely and it hasn't bled through enough on the so on the front to notice. So there we go, there's my little bookmark. I screwed this up a lot. There were lots of things in here I could do better. You know what, I'm not having the best day, but I really think it's important even when you're having a bad day, when I'm having a bad day, to share that with you guys. And this sort of feels like a really good project to have done on a bad day because I've now got some ideas of things I can go and do to make myself feel a little bit better. I may go and have a bath, that may be what I go and do now. But I like that I can add more to it. It's not finished. There's extra things I can add. And it's just going to sit. I'm just going to 
<coughs> plan her in for a second. It'll just sit in here. It sits nicely. I can put it on the front of a month or I can put it with my week so it can move along with me. But check this out. A little sloth fits out the top, which is my favorite part. Which yes, I did that on purpose and is the whole reason it's there. Because the sloth is my little marker. So I can really easily go in and find him whenever I need, whenever I need just 10 minutes or an idea of something to do to kind of make myself feel better. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you made it to the end, thank you. I don't know how you did it, considering all my stuff up. I really appreciate it. If you have any self-care ideas that you think I should add to my list or that you want to share with everyone else, leave them in the comments down below or you can find me on any of my social medias. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and make sure you take 10 minutes for yourself today just because you can. Because remember, self-care isn't selfish. Hope you guys have an absolutely awesome, awesome day and I'll catch you in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.